Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate mean of any vector. So first let's understand the concept of mean. So basically mean is calculated by sum of the values in our data series and then dividing it with the number of values in data series. Okay, so first we will create a vector then we will use a function known as mean. So it will help us find the mean of any vector or data series that we pass on to it. So first thing, open your R Studio and next thing is creating R script. Here we will start by creating one vector. So let's add some numbers. So 1, 5, 8, 12, 42, and 28, and 2, and finally three so these are some random numbers I picked for this vector and I want to find mean so for that I will create one data frame here with name result dot mean and then call for mean function and then I'm going to pass this vector to that now to check the output of this we will use print method and then pass our data frame so let's execute this and see how it calculates our mean so now we created our x value and you can check that in environment tab then result mean will have the mean and then it will get printed and the mean of the vector that we just created will be 12.625 okay now we will also see if there is a way to trim the result that we get from our mean. So for the trim option, we have to adjust this with comma and then type trim equals to then number of positions that you want to drop from each end of our data series for the calculation. So what we're going to do is we're going to recalculate and then we got our mean which is 7 in this case. Now we will also see how to apply n values to drop missing values from our data series. So if there are any missing values then we can handle it simply by using na dot rm equals to true okay so within your mean function there is option for handling trim position and also to handle any value using na dot rm equals to true so let's execute this once again and finally we got our values 12.625 just like the earlier okay so you get the idea of how to create a mean using mean function then apply the trim option within mean and then applying any values within mean function so this was a short video on how to create mean using mean function in R programming